what's going on everybody this is Angelo from caps on fire and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up your software for printing when dealing with sublimation so far we've downloaded GIMP and we've downloaded Inkscape but the thing about those programs is that we're only using those programs to design we're not using those programs to print at all so to work around that we're gonna be downloading silhouette studio as our printing option so the very first thing I need you guys to do is to click the subscribe button down below as I will be uploading more videos. So in order for you to get that notification, just click subscribe and that's all you got to do. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to download Silhouette. So to do that, I need you to open up your internet browser and go to silhouetteamerica.com backslash software. Once you get to this site, you come down here, you click on either Mac or Windows, whatever your operating system is for your computer, and then you can download it. And once again, guys, this will be downloading the basic edition, which is 100% free, and they do have paid versions right here, the designer edition, designer edition plus, or the business edition, which each one have different features. But in our case, all we're doing is printing. So all we need is just the basic addition to be able to do that. And also, if you notice, it says for use with silhouette, cameo, portrait and curio. That's just for cutting purposes only. You can download this software and just print from it as we don't need these software. I mean, these are um, pieces of equipment because we're not actually cutting anything. We're only printing. So once you click the link, whichever one you use, we'll select Windows. It should come up. Yep, it come up down here at the bottom and then we go to save. After you save it, just go ahead and run through the installation process. It should be relatively fast when you are done. And you open it for the first time. This won't appear. Instead, this will appear. It will be 12, 12. Cut border will show up. The cameo map will be there. Ready? Yep. So when you open it for the first time, this is what's going to show up. And so, of course, this is going to be a 12 by 12 inch size. But when dealing with sublimation, we're mostly using Super B size, which is going to be 13 by 19. So to change this, we go to width. We change this to 13. We go to height. We change this to 19. We go to cutting mat. We turn the cutting mat off, turn it to none. Show cut border, check that. And that is everything you need to know. Okay. Once you have this set up, you have your canvas fully done for sublimation. Well, for printing. And then after that, let's see, you can go to file. You can go to print and we'll make another preference for this. I highly suggest, I highly, highly, highly suggest making a printer preference when dealing with sublimation. Okay. Because this, this will notify your printer what size paper you're printing on. If you need to mirror your image or not, how much ink to lay down on your paper as far as the uh, quality of your image, your um to get your colors to match the colors on your screen once you sublimate. So just different things like that. So to change over everything at once instead of having to go through each option and changing it out and all that stuff, we just make a preset. So that way, whenever we do come back in here and print, we just select that one preset and it changes everything for us. So the very first thing we need to do is come to the paper source. Right now I'm working with a 7210. So I have two cassette trays, but if you're working with the 7710, you'll have one cassette tray. So in our case, we have two, but the 7710, it'll just have one. And then it'll say rear paper feed slot. We don't use that. We only use that one tray that we have. So in our case, I'm printing out a paper cassette too. So I click that document size we go down to super b 13 by 19 inch for orientation we're going to leave it as portrait 
because that's what we have going on right here is the portrait for quality if you are using cosmos ink this is what you need to do you go down to more settings we'll turn the quality all the way up and press ok we'll keep it selected on color we go down to that's pretty much it on this section so now we go from our main tab to our more options tab document size we leave that alone because it'll change this document size automatically when you change this document size right here so we can leave this one alone output paper same as document size and right here for cosmos ink use cosmos ink users who want to select custom we go to advance and we click on icm and we press ok because when you're using our inks is using the uh, color profile that's already installed on your computer when you install your Epson computer so to so to be able to use that color profile that's why we did that so we went to custom we went to advance go to ICM okay after that very very important please select mirror image when you select this when it prints out your image on paper it'll automatically mirror your image for you so you don't have to mirror your image on your design software on your printing software or anything it'll automatically do it for you and that is a huge huge plus because believe me I have forgot to mirror a lot of stuff and wasted a lot of paper let alone vinyl and a lot of things so please make sure this box is checked and you'll never have to worry about that again so once you have everything checked off the next thing you want to do is go to add slash reset I'm sorry add slash remove presets we'll click that and we'll change the name to let's say super B tutorial you can just name your super B but in our case that's what we're doing super B tutorial icons are what will show up right here on the sides so we can just leave it how it is comments I don't really like to write nothing in the comments it's just by looking at the name that we wrote that'll pretty much tell me everything that is going to be used for and then at this point we just come down here and click save and then we can click close so now let's say if you first open it up and you see this is selected all you got to do is come down here to super B tutorial the one we just made press it and it will automatically change everything for you on this side and on the more option side so once you're done with that all you do is just press OK make sure your image is right here aligned to wherever you need to align it to and come over here how many other copies you need you can adjust that as well you can press apply and then you press print and once you hit print you go over to your printer and it will be there when you do press print there will be a loading bar that show up right here and depending on your computer that definitely can take some time um, if you have a faster end computer it will be a whole lot faster but that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for tuning in I'll see you guys in the next video that's it Angelo out oh, oh, oh.